Hey guys, welcome to Chalking Creations with Carol. I hope you guys are all doing great. If you're catching me live, welcome. If you're catching me on the well, on the replay, put hashtag replay because I'd love to uh, welcome you guys also. Um, we're going to do the vintage truck and I'm going to do the t-shirt. So we're going to ink tonight. We'll see how that works out for us. Um, so if anyone is interested in being a designer like me, I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture and we have a line of chalk paste and ink that we use for multiple things, all kinds of surfaces. So I'd love to talk to you. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Lisa. How are you? And Rihanna. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm sorry I'm a little late. It's been, um, it's been a day, you know, I always tell you that. But, you know, I come home and, you know, I try to get everything ready. And then we had a couple visitors um, that showed up. So, anyway, um, here I am. A little late, but you know what? Better late than never, right? I could have just canceled the whole thing. <laughs> But welcome to you guys. I'm so glad you're here. I'm hoping that we'll get a few more eyes on to watch us tonight. Um, I am going to work on um, a t-shirt. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Kathleen, well, it's not all of your fault. <laughs> we did have a couple of visitors show up. We had a, um, a friend that showed up on her golf cart and then probably about... 15 minutes ago, Jeff, Jeff Papa, he showed up to give Donna a golf cart ride. So that's typical, but that's fine. Hey, Wayne, Kathleen, I am glad that you're here. I'm going to ink a t-shirt tonight. So watch, watch, watch. Um, hey, Morgan, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. And Marie, I'm excited about this. So here's what I'm doing. And here's the reason why I'm doing this. So I have a friend of mine who's getting ready to retire and she wants me to make her a t-shirt um, with the vintage truck with Gone Fishing on it. She was supposed to bring me her t-shirt today, but she didn't, which is fine. Um, so I have a shirt of my own that I'm gonna do it on. It's kind of my test. Um, I'm not gonna put the fishing poles in it though, because I'm not a fisher, but I am going to put the little cooler on the back of the truck. I think that'll be great. The whole gang is here tonight. Yes, Morgan, it looks like everybody's here. Um, hey, Marie, welcome, darling. So I know we got Rihanna and we got Michaela. Um, so Sierra, I didn't see, but anyway, let's get started because I do not want to run super late tonight. Um, I did want to let you guys know if you are a designer under me, and even if you're not, if you're even just a customer, I just want you guys to know that they are um, restocking some of the transfers that, that have been out of stock for quite some time. If you are interested, you need to purchase them now. The reason why is because they are not guaranteed to be in the next catalog. And these go very quickly. I placed my order um, about six o'clock. Um, and for that, the welcome pork shop, porch sign, which I have been waiting for forever. Um, every time I've gone to order it, it's been out of stock. When it came back in to restock, I went to order it and it was out of stock, like it sold out. So just so you guys know, I'm gonna read you what came back into stock today. Um, so it came in, at, they came back in stock and went live at three o'clock, which is I think um, mountain time, which is five o'clock our time, Virginia time. New York, what is, what are we in, the central, central time? So anyway, what came in back in stock is the rise and grind, whatever, I'm still fabulous, 
Wife, mom, boss. It was always you, which is that one that's right there behind me. It's back in stock. Um, the gathering place. Welcome to our porch. Fresh produce. Fresh produce locally grown. Home of the Braves. Home of the Brave. I guess it doesn't have an S. Um, then sings my soul. Unsinkable, the floral script print. Um, wherever you go, the welcome signpost and our placement tape. So if there is anything on that list that you want, I'm just letting you know, you should order. Um, because here we are into the middle of June, our new catalog goes, I think goes out live in August. So I don't know that these are going to make it through July. So if there's something there you want, you better get it. That's all I have to say. I placed my order and I need to make another order either today or tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow. I need to get some surfaces. So, all right. Well, with that being said, we are going to get going. Um, we are going to ink this t-shirt and hopefully it's going to be beautiful and I don't mess it up. So the other little thing that I did, remember my, um, my ink mat? Remember it was thin, let's see, thin, but really long. The ink mats have been out of stock too. Well, I need it square, so I cut mine in half and put the two pieces together so that I could use it for my t-shirt. So, just wanted to let you know. So, you know, you do what you gotta do. That's all I can say. You, you do what you gotta do. So, I am gonna do this little vintage truck which I know we did the other night and we chalked it, but tonight we're gonna ink it. So, I already have my ink mats in my t-shirt and I will move that camera down because I don't think you guys can see. Um, so let's move that down a little. So hopefully you guys can see. Oh, technology. Can you guys see? <laughs> I hit the wrong button, guys. Sorry. All right. So, I have my ink mat in here. And I have it nice and flat. That's the one good thing about the um, ink mats is they are sticky. So, it, your shirt or whatever you're using is actually going to stick to it. I am just kind of... So, this is a v-neck. So it does come down, so I'm trying to make sure that my truck is going to be in the right place for the bottom half, give or take. You know, I need to have it right, correct? All right. So I think it should be all right right about there. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. We'll see what happens. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Remember, you do not have to fuzz your transfers for your for fabric because you do want them to be as sticky as possible. So, I'm going to put that there and just kind of look at this again because I might want to raise it up just a hair, just a bit. Once again, it is an old t-shirt, so more than likely I will wear it around the house, possibly to work, but all in all, so if I mess it up too much, it'll be okay. You guys all still on there? I know I had that little boo-boo there. I am going to make sure there is no air bubbles. I am going to make sure that my green is stuck down really good so that I don't have any bleeding because you do not want any bleeding underneath your transfer. Okay? So we want to make sure it is pressed down really, really good. So, 
I am going to use the following colors. Of course, it is our black. I do have that. I'm gonna use our current jam because I actually like this color better than the candy apple for me personally. Some people like that bright red. I like it a little bit um, darker. We're gonna also use Storm. And we are gonna use the Cadet. Let's see, where is my finger? There it is. You probably can't see it, but it is Cadet. The Cadet Blue. So, let me move this down some so you guys can see it. And I'm not having to reach so far. Um, let me put this over here. I'm trying to get all my stuff out of the way so I don't hit anything. Um, as you know, that would be me. Okay. Um, well, I had to move stuff earlier because I was trying to, I was trying to cut that mat. So I am actually going to use the, um, storm first. And the reason why is because I want this little circle that's in this tire to be the gray, the storm. And then I want the bottom of the truck to be red like we did on our truck earlier that we chalked on. Be very careful with your, pay, um, your inks, guys because it is ink and you do not want to get that all over you. So you always make sure your hands are nice and clean when you go to move stuff. So the one thing that I do like about ink is that it doesn't dry as fast as um, paste does. Tell Steve I said hello too. I can't wait to see you guys. When are you guys coming? I know you guys are coming soon so in a couple weeks right so i'm just gonna take put some on and i'm gonna go from the top to the bottom might need a little more than that remember it is paste so it does absorb into the fabric Just make, and I am going from top to bottom. I'm not going from side to side. Remember I told you I was listening to somebody who said that they found that they had less um, bleeding when they went top to bottom or bottom to top. So and that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see what happens here. Remember ink is permanent. So you want to be very careful. Make sure you don't make any mistakes because once it's on there, it is on there. There is no going back. Now this one here, I am going to do side to side. And the only reason why is because I do not want to hit my t-shirt on the other end. So, all right. I'm just pressing it in. You don't have to press too hard. Just trying to get all my lines out of it. Making sure I have that whole transfer covered. And then we're going to peel it up. I did miss a little spot right there. I'm going to come back. Actually, we're going to put that gray on there, remember? For my hub, for my, um, I guess that's supposed to be a hubcap. Not real sure. Maybe. And we're going to use the storm for that. So I'm just going to come in. Go right over that. I think I got a little red in it. It's okay. Remember, this is my test shirt. So, I'd rather mess up on my shirt than a customer's shirt. Right? I want to know that I'm doing it the right way. So, checking my fingers, making sure I don't have anything on it. We are going to. I'm gonna peel it from the short side over. Holding my shirt down. Oh, pretty cool, guys. I could have gone a little bit darker there, but you know what, it's okay. 
because it's an old vintage truck, so it's like the paint's missing off of it, right? <laughs> right? This is how we learn. I am gonna dry it. Just so that it is not so sticky. So we need to dry it a little bit. So that when we go to layer the next color, it doesn't bleed. So tell me what you guys have been doing. I know I ask you that every night, and every night you're all like, ah, not really a whole lot. You guys have been doing something, I know. We've been rearranging the tasting room. So that's interesting. Up, oh, you babysat again today. Were the kids good for you? Were the kids good for you, Rihanna? I know it's a new set of children that you're watching. So wipe my hands off guys because I did get a little ink on there. You do not want to touch your shirt with ink. So so we're rearranging the um, tasting room. Very good. So that's been interesting. Lots of new changes happening so you worked both of your jobs today. Very good, Marie. How's your husband doing? Is he doing well? Let's hope. Let's hope he's doing well. I'm just going to press that down. Looks pretty good. Oh, good. He's doing well. That's awesome. Trying to figure out what my two projects. Oh, well, I don't know. Did you share them? Did you share them to ask? Somebody will help you out. If you ask, I'm just thinking, guys. I'm just thinking because there's a couple things that I want to, like, I want this to be, well, I don't think I want that to be gray. So it has that wood piece back here. Remember, it was wooden, but. I'm not sure I want that to be gray, which is what I was going to put on there. I don't have brown, so I have to kind of go with what I have. I could make that black. Um, which I could. I could make that black. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I could do it black. It's just trying to figure out all the colors, you know? So I'm gonna use a little squeegee because this is a little area right here. I think I will make this black. I thought about doing it in the gray, but the thing about that is I wanna put the little cooler on the back of it and I want the cooler to be gray. I would have done it in like, um, 
in like white, but my shirt's white. So it's all right. It's all right. You know, it'll be fine. So, all right. Just want to make sure that's good and pushed in there. Go on that little piece there. All right. Okay. And then we're going to do the tires, which I need a bigger squeegee for the tires. We're gonna do our tires. Hi, Jacqueline. And then we're gonna do our tires. And then the rest is gonna be blue. You know? black over here. I could have done my truck black and red because you know black and red are probably my two favorite colors but I want to be able to wear this for 4th of July you know without actually making a 4th of July shirt. So I'm just gonna use this. I hear Donna's back. She's back. She's back. She finished her golf cart ride. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to use this little bitty one up here. Gives me a little more control. All right, and then I'm gonna do these little black running boards here. Just pressing this into the, the fabric. Once again, I've got that little teeny tiny piece that I need to get there. All right. All right, I think that we're good with the black. I'm just gonna kinda make sure I don't have too much No lines. No lines. All right. And then we're going to do the blue. And we'll be almost done. Right? This is a quick one. Anybody have any questions I can try to answer for you? If anybody's interested in being a designer like me, I would love to have you join my team. I can send you the opportunity video so you can watch it. Uh, we have Club Couture, which is also pretty fun. You get an exclusive transfer um, each month that is exclusive to Club Couture members. Also, right now, we have our Creative Kickstart Kit, which our club members get $5 off of each one of those. There's two kits. One is a complete kit, which means it comes with everything from your, your base, I mean, your surface that you would use. It comes with your um, paste, um, and it comes with the transfer. So that's pretty cool. And then the other one is um, just the transfer itself, but it's a big, it's a size D, so it's a big transfer, which is, I did it, it's gorgeous. And you get $5 off of each one of those if you are a preferred customer or a Club Couture member. Um, and then I also have my VIP um, group. So if you're interested in that, I need to get a smaller squeegee for these guys. Getting close to the black is kind of hard. But I do want to make sure I've got all that done there. So if you're interested in being, doing what I'm doing, 
It's $99. It is a business in a box. So, pretty awesome. We do have to put the cooler in here, remember? Don't let me forget about putting the cooler in here. I was looking for another small little squeegee. I know I have one in there. You never watched the video? Didn't I send it to you? Didn't I put you into the group so you could watch it? It just tells you the ins and outs. You can still watch it, Marie. It just tells you the ins and outs of the company. I sent that video to you. So you trust me so much, Marie. You just came right on board. Sometimes we get so excited that you just jump in. Um, I thought I sent it to you. When you were asking questions. But I can send it to you. You should be part of that group, too. So. It just tells you about your compensation plan and how to, um, it's a lot. It's, it's not a lot, but it just goes over everything, but I can get it for you. It just lets you know about the 40% that you, um, that you get. It also talks about your, um, it talks about your kit, what comes in your kit, how to work the business. If you want to work it as a business, you can work it as a, um, hobbyist. So yeah, I can send it to you, Marie. No big deal. No big deal. All right, guys, I'm just trying to get some of this ink up. And then we're gonna pull it straight up. Just making sure I don't have so much ink on here. This transfer will probably never come clean because you know, it is ink. It's not paste this time. So, all right, I'm making sure I don't have anything on my fingers, guys, when I go to pick that up, because I did. All right. We're going to pick it straight up and hold this down. That's pretty awesome, guys. Pretty, pretty awesome. Super cute. I like it. Like it a lot. Awesome. All right. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way because you know what's going to happen, right? I'm going to hit it. And that will be just a mess. You know? I keep getting ink on me, though. Oh, well. All right. We're going to dry that because I have the cooler, and the cooler is actually with the fishing poles. But I'm not gonna use the fishing poles. <laughs> Remember I told you I don't wanna put the fishing poles on here. I don't want to. But I do need to dry it. Remember, you always want to dry it. And then we're going to heat set it, remember? So it stays permanent. Just a little wet. 
I need the back of it to at least be a little dry. So that's where that next transfer is going to go. Alright. So the transfer that I have is... Look. See the little cooler? And then it has the fishing poles. I just want the cooler. I don't want the fishing poles. Um, yeah, it was, so, because Sarah is my upline, I, I don't have an opportunity video that I've made because my team's not big enough yet. You have to have, you have to be a certain rank up, and I'm not. So, because Sarah is my upline, we use, I use her video, so you would have seen it through her, um, in that group it's her it's her opportunity video so so that's kind of how it works yeah even though you are my you're on my team you are also on Sarah's team because Sarah is my upline it's just how it works so I just want this cooler guys so I'm just trying to make sure it's going to be on there. I think I went just a hair too, too far down. I'm trying really easy to get this cooler on here. It's probably a toolbox, but I'm going to pretend like it's a cooler. Looks like a cooler to me, you know, and I'm going to make it gray. Easy peasy. Just pushing that ink into that. And then we're going to pull it right up. Super easy. Look at that little cooler on the back of there. Now it just needs a little sticker on it. Lexi Lou, I sure do miss you too, darling. Hey, Marcus, welcome, welcome, welcome. I think this is adorable. That's super cute, guys. Hey, Shirley. This is super cute. I really like that. Okay, so I am going to kind of clean up some of this stuff because I don't want, and we have to heat set, remember? We have to heat set all of this. So I'm just putting my pieces over in my, um, over in my water bath over here as I'm getting ink all over me. Uh, it's okay, Lexi. I understand. You know, sometimes you can't make it on. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's okay. You know? You have to work. You got to work. So, it's all good. All right. I have to grab some parchment paper, and then we're going to iron this heat set it and then we will be all done guys we're not doing bad tonight all right just trying to get this ink all closed up because i do not want to hit that and get ink all over the place that would not make me very happy all right let me turn this back on it keeps telling me it wants to be off 
Well, that's good, Lexi. I'm glad you watched the replay. Shirley, how are you tonight, love? All right, I'm just making sure my hands are clean, guys, because I don't want anything on my t-shirt. I'm gonna take out the heat, um, the heat mat here. And remember, I told you, I cut this in half. And this is a very thin t-shirt, so I'm trying not to let it, at least we um, iron, um, set this. So, this mat is very sticky. It was not the easiest to get in this shirt, so just so you know. I've seen other people do it, and it seems like they can get it out so easy. I just can't. I've had a time with mine. All right. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Voila. All right. So let me show you. Can you see that? It's pretty cute. Pretty, pretty cute. I'm going to lay this back down. That's super cute. And then I'm going to get my mat. This little mat. I love the truck I've been watching. <laughs> You've been eating pizza? <laughs> oh my goodness. Kathy, I love this truck. I absolutely love this truck. Like I said, this was one of the things that I saw when I was first thinking about becoming a designer. The truck totally caught my eye. And I was like, man, I want that truck. The country girl and the truck. Love it. So, all right, guys, I'm just trying to make sure that all the ink part is actually on this mat. So I'm just kind of pushing my t-shirt just trying to make sure it's on the mat, on my heat mat. And then I'm gonna get some parchment paper. Can you use cardboard if you don't? Yes. You could, anything. You can put anything under there. I have a heat mat because it goes with my, um, my Cricut, but you could um, put a towel. Basically, when you're heat setting it, you really don't want any of that ink to get on the back. I saw somebody the other day that actually put parchment paper inside their shirt. Then they did their, their transfer, they inked their transfer, peeled their transfer off, then put another piece of parchment paper and ironed it. So you just want something on the inside. So, okay. Let me get that parchment paper. Voila, and set. There we go. This is actually the one that I used the other night. Um, I'm just waiting for my Cricut to, and remember, if you do not have a Cricut, remember you can use, um, so I have a, a Cricut heat press. If you do not have one, you can use an iron. Um, set your iron for um, whatever, the material is that you're using. You want to set your um, heat press for that. Um, this is kind of, I think this is like a cotton blend. So I'm going to actually turn my temperature probably to about 300 um, and let it heat up on your um, iron. You'll set it for whatever the highest temperature is for your, your cotton or whatever you're using. And then when you heat set it, you're gonna put a piece of parchment paper and then you're gonna iron it for about four to five minutes. And that's gonna set it. You'll pick your parchment paper up, you'll check it, make sure it's good and dry. It should be actually really super soft to the touch. Um, it shouldn't feel sticky or tacky. If it does, iron it a little bit more. But once it is super dry and it's nice and soft and feels just like the shirt or the whatever you're putting it on, then turn it inside out and then set the back of it. Okay? So, 
we'll probably do this in two little sections. I'm gonna do it at right, 300 for about 30 seconds. And I'm just pressing it. Yeah, Kathy, I love this. It is a great transfer, Marie. Oh, how cute. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, oh, because the, the one that I did um, with the just the paste, I was like, man, it needs a little teeny dog up in the window. I know. It would be nice to find a little dog transfer to be able to put in there. Yeah. I can tell you that um, we had a transfer, but it was big. And it said something about life is better with a dog or life is better with a cat. They have both sold out and they're not coming back in stock. This is why I was telling you guys, if you see something that's in stock right now, that just came in, if there's something you want, you should get it because... No guarantees. I didn't realize the cat and the dog one was going to be. Not that I was going to buy them, but some people like them, you know. So, I'm just going to give this a second to cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to make sure I'm going to... Because, you know, when you iron stuff, they get a little warm. And sometimes they feel a little damp. So, I just want to cool that off a little bit. It does not feel tacky. Maybe a little. We'll do it another 30 seconds. Um, like I said, you gotta kinda, you gotta kinda play with it. Um, you wanna make sure it's not tacky. Cause you wanna make sure that you can, you know, wear it. This you'll be able to wash and you'll be able to dry and it'll be perfect. I'll be excited to wear it. I might have to wear it tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe Joe will come in tomorrow and be like, there's my truck. That's what I want. Maybe she'll remember to bring me her t-shirt tomorrow. I'm sure she's very busy. So, and then we'll move this one more time. We'll put it over here. We'll do it 30 seconds and then we'll take it out. We'll, we'll turn it inside out, do the back of it, and then we're good to go. All in all, I think my shirt turned out really good. I'm very proud. You should be proud of stuff that you make, you know, especially if you're going to wear it. I know when I made the country girl one, I love it. I wear it all the time. I wore it the other night. <clears throat> I love it. All right, we'll take that off one last time. This one's going to be much, much better. Perfect. All right, I'll take my mat out. We'll flip it inside out. And do the same thing. And you can see where it bleed, bled to the inside, which is fine because it's on the inside. We want to make sure that's the one there. You know? And this is a thin t-shirt. So if it was a thicker t-shirt, it may not bleed at all. It definitely does on this one because it's a very thin t-shirt. I'm just going to turn it. This time you do not have to use your parchment paper at all. I'm just gonna put it on there for about 30 seconds and then we'll be done. We'll be done. I know Morgan, I need to make your, I need some yellow ink. I need some yellow ink. And I don't know if they have yellow ink, maybe. Bumblebee, maybe? Maybe, maybe. But yeah, I need to make your tea towels. All right, one more time and we're done. 30 more seconds. Well, if there's anybody out there that has any questions, let me know up oh, the bubble bee sold out. Yeah, that's probably why I haven't been able to get it, Morgan. That's okay. When it comes back into stock, I will have to get it. If it does anybody else have any questions, I hope you guys um, love this. I can't wait to hold it up to show you. 
Remember about our restock. If there's anything in there that you want, don't forget, you might want to get it because it could sell out again. I have missed out on a couple of things because of that. So check this out, guys. Is that not super cute? That is the cutest little truck. I love it. I can't wait to wear it now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Yep, this is awesome. I love it. And it is, it is dry. It is soft. It's not tacky. Um, so this will be a great piece. Um, if you know somebody that likes trucks. Yes, Donna is going to love it. She is going to absolutely love this. But you can throw this in your washer, dryer. It is not coming off. It is permanent. So that's the difference between ink and paste. Paste is um, water soluble, so it would come off. This here is not going anywhere. It is going to stay permanently on there. Love the truck. We'll have to... Yes, you will, Kathy. We'll have to make some. Come on over. Well, guys, if there's no other questions, um, I guess I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go eat some dinner and maybe watch some television with Donna. I haven't done that in a few days. So um, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. So I guess I'll be talking and talking with you guys tomorrow, 830. I promise I'll try to be on time. But, you know, you know how it is. Life happens. Well, I love each and every one of you, and thank you so much for supporting me and my small business here. If there's anybody out there that needs to place an order and you don't know how, I'd love to help you with that also. Um, you know, we're getting towards, you know, not really the end of the month, but, you know, I always like to have my quotas done before the end of the month. So, anyway, if there's anybody out there, hey, I'd love to help you. Well, guys, love you. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll talk and chalk with you then. Night, guys.